Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss further into uh, integration using tables of integrals and now go over example 4 of the example series. And just to recap, I'll be using the table of integrals found in Mike Calco's book. And you could view that table by going to this URL, which is just tinyurl.com slash integrals MES. And uh, that's uh, that's simply this one here. You could download from that link and you just get a table of integrals such as this right here. So now the example I'm going to go over is this one, which states use the table of integrals to find integral of x times square root x squared plus 2x plus 4 uh, and then all dx right here. So now if we look at the table of integrals, if we pop this up, so there's some basic forms right here. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in the form of the, the one we, we have. So there's forms of this one, square root a squared plus u squared. There is here u squared minus a squared. Uh, I mean, I mean here, square root u squared minus a squared is one divided by. That's not what we're looking for. If we go here, there's a minus, there's a form like this. And then there's a form such as this right here. So there isn't one. You can see that over here doesn't have a squared or anything. This is not like that. So the the exact form that we're looking for isn't in here. So if I write that down, basically my table gives uh, forms or formulas for yeah, formulas for integrals involving basically square root a squared plus uh, something like x squared. Also, we have a squared uh, minus x squared. And there's also, like I showed, x squared minus a squared right here. Yeah, the table uses u, but you could use x, the same thing. So, but it doesn't have, yeah, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have formulas for basically the form that we want, which is a x squared plus b x plus c. So that's basically what we have right over here. So, but what we could do is actually rewrite this in a form such as one of these. And to do that, we we can complete the square. And you can see my earlier videos on completing the square. So what we could do right here is write this, uh, there's an x squared plus 2x plus 4. So if we write that down right here, x squared plus 2x plus 4. So this part right here, what we could do is write this as well, an x plus 1. If we square this, uh, like we have an uh, x plus 1 here because there's a 2x here, so they, multi they add up by going, well, one, 1 times x plus 1 times x. So we could do this. This equals right here, x squared plus 1 squared. This equals to x squared plus 2x. And then we get, well, a plus, actually not a plus, a plus 1 right here. So if you expand this out, then when it will have a 1 times 1, we get this. So what this means is we have this part which gets to here. So x squared plus 2x simply equals to move this over x plus 1 squared, yes, squared right here, minus 1. So that's what this equals to. So at the, then ba basically plug this inside, we get equals to x plus 1 squared. So then we have a minus 1 plus 4, so a plus 3. So now the, the function we're dealing with is now integral of, well, x, I'll just write this out, x squared plus 2x plus 4 dx simply equals 2 integral of x. So now we have an x plus 1 squared plus uh, 3 dx. And the reason we're doing this is because now this looks closer to this part right here that we have formulas for. Yes, yeah, so if I open this up, so we have some formulas in the form of that. So that's, that's this one right, yeah, this right here. That's uh, equation 21. So going back to here to get it into that exact form, because there's a u squared, so we have to use, well, substitution. Let u equals to x plus 1. So, so when we do this, basically the derivative du or differential is going to be equal to dx. 
And now this, this x right here, rearrange this, x equals to u minus 1. Yeah, okay, so now when we apply the substitution, what we get, this equals 2. Now the x becomes, well, u minus 1. Now we have a square root. Now this x plus 1, that's u. So u squared plus 3, and then the dx is du. So that's what we have here. And now what we could do, well, first, this part right here, there is no form that has a u minus 1 or anything like that in front of this a squared plus u squared. But what we could do is expand this out. So this equals 2, we'll just multiply it in and write it as two separate integrals. So u and then u squared plus 3 du and then a minus integral of a square root u plus 3 du. So now that we have two separate uh, integrals right here, so we'll call this 1 and we'll call this 2 right here and we'll solve these separately. Now if I go into again the table of integrals we don't have one that has a u in front uh, but we do have one that doesn't have one so that's equation 21. So this one we don't have but this is equation uh, 21 we could use. So we could use that, but first to solve the first one, although there's no table, there's no formula in our table, what we could do right here is a quick substitution because if we let u, L, or let uh, t equals to u squared plus 3, the derivative becomes, well, we'll end up having a u and a du inside. So if we have the first one, let t, another substitution, equals to u squared plus 3, to so get rid of all that, what we get is is right here dt is equal to 2u du so again there's a u du and there's a u du inside this right here so we could cancel those out so u du equals to simply t, dt over 2 plug this all in what we get is integral of u square root u plus 3 du equals to and now this this and this disappear and we get we get simply well I'll take a one over two out we get a dt at the at the side and a square root t right here uh, that's that's this uh, becomes t and then dt yeah and there's our dt there's our one over two and that's what we get and we could easily solve this this becomes well. This is basic, uh, the, I'll just rewrite this in terms of 1 over 2 dt in basic um, integration of this power. That's going to be, well, 1 over 2, and then this you add 1 t, and then it's going to be a 3 over 2. So add, add 2 over 2, or add a power of 1, and then times it by, well, 2 over 3. So again, these 2's cancel. Then again, we have a constant, we'll call it c1. And then canceling these, we get, well, 1 over 3, t, 3 over 2, plus c1. And then plug in our u, we get simply 1 over 3, our t equals to u squared plus 3. And then power of 3 over 2, and then plus, well, um, yeah, plus c1. And again, this u squared plus 3, if we go back up, that u squared plus 3 is simply, well, this. This one here is replaces this x plus 1 squared, and that becomes, well, this right here. This equals to u squared plus 3. So, and that is our original starting point. So, x squared plus 2x. So, this equals to 1 over 3, and then we have an x squared plus 2x plus 4, 3 over 2, plus constant c1. So we have that part done. Now we go about doing number two. So equation two, we have well integral of just simply u squared plus three dx. So going back to here, this is exactly equation 21. Yeah, so if I copy and paste equation 21, that's this right here. So this is exactly the same thing, where basically a squared is equal to, well, three in this case. So this means that the a equals to square root 3. Now just simply plug this in. We get uh, equals to square root, actually no, just, just simply equals to u 
over 2 and then square root a squared plus u squared Actually, the a is going to be our 3. So we could rewrite this in front of it. 3 plus, and again, this is going to be 3 over 2 ln, and then u plus square root a squared plus, uh, this is going to be u squared plus 3. And then again, plus a constant c2 this time. Yeah, so now finally we could uh, we could plug this in. We'll, we'll plug in what u is at the end. Yeah, just to save time writing. So overall we get the integral of x square root x squared plus 2x plus 4 dx is equal to, so going back up what it was, so the equation, uh, the integral of the first one, then minus the second one right here. So the first one, that's just, just 1 over 3. 1 over 3, and then it's going to be an x squared plus 2x plus 4 square root, I mean, the power of two, 3 over 2. And then we have a constant c1. I'll add that at the end just to combine the two. So we have this part, and then we have to, well, minus. So we have a, I'll add a minus right here just because to running out of space. So we get this, this part right here because there's a minus here. So we have to minus from everything. And, and uh, that's the uh, integral of the second one. And then we could start putting this inside and replace u with, well, x plus 1. And whenever we have u squared plus 3, replace it with this part right there. So this equals to minus x plus 1 over 2. And then a square root x squared plus 2x plus 4, and then uh, this is going to be a minus as well because we're subtracting, minus 3 over 2 ln of a x plus 1, x plus, I'll write this better, x plus 1 minus, actually there's a, there's a plus inside here, plus square root, and again x squared plus 2x plus 4, and again, now we have a constant c2, so we'll just add a constant c, where oh, I'll add it right here at the end here, plus yeah, plus c, where basically c is equal to when we have just c1 minus c2, and that's basically our final answer. And we'll just circle this whole thing. Oops. Circled like that. Anyways, that's uh, yeah, pretty uh, intense right here. And then, and just to show you how you could solve these using tables, formulas without uh, having to always solve this by hand. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.